Hello everybody, my name is Brian Adcock. I am the race director and founder of Castle Triathlon Series. Welcome to the 12th running of the Heber Castle Triathlon. And if you are a Aquathon Sprint competitor, you are listening to the correct video. If you are not an Aquathon Sprint competitor, then you're listening to the wrong video and you should stop listening now and find the correct video to listen to. Otherwise you will fill your brains with the wrong details. Okay, um, those of you that are doing the Aquathon uh, sprint at Heber Castle on Saturday the 26th of September. Um, before I detail uh, how your actual race is going to sort of look and feel, I just wanted to reassure you that um, lots of planning has gone into making sure that this is a super safe event as far as COVID-19 is concerned. We've been guided by five principles, the first of which is athlete education and communication. This video is part of that, as is the other video that you need to watch in conjunction with it about how to arrive and depart from the event as will be all of the email communications and other bits on the website, um, which we'd ask you to read before turning up on site. Don't be that person that hasn't read anything and doesn't know what's supposed to be happening because um, it will cause problems on the day, which could mean that um, ultimately we don't end up doing um, the correct social distancing protocols. Uh, second um, guiding principle for us has been uh, density reduction. This has been done already in that we've got a smaller field than we would normally have, probably about two thirds of the competitors than uh, we would normally expect to see at the Heber weekend. Um, and uh, also the fact that we are not having any mass starts, um, but sending people off on an individual time trial basis. So literally as you enter the water, um, you'll be on your own and then 10 seconds later, the next person will go and so on throughout the course of the day. Thirdly, touch point reduction. We're trying to reduce as many touch points as we possibly can to try and um, just restrict you to touching your own kit through the course of the day from the moment that you leave your car to the moment that you get back to your car. Um, so um, bear that in mind um, because there will be one or two changes um, out on the course uh, and I'll detail those as I go through the different routes that you're doing. Um, fourthly, is uh, more athlete reliance. So normally we look after you really well and you can literally grab your bike out of your shed, blow the dust of it and turn up um, and we would um, look after it for you, make sure it was serviceable and safe, um, make sure your helmet fitted and um, feed you whilst you were here. However, this is not gonna happen this year. You need to be a lot more prepared than you otherwise would have been. So please dig your bike out of your shed um, if it's the first time that you've been on it for a while. Um, and um, please make sure it's serviced before you turn up at the event. You will need to um, provide your own sustenance for the cycle um, leg of your route. So have a think about, have you got a bottle cage on your bike? Um, fill your bottle up with something that you, uh, you like, be that water or energy source or whatever it may be, um, and make sure you've got some gels and bars on you if you think you'll need them. Um, and finally, um, that you'll see an increased level of hygiene and cleanliness at the event. We will have a number of hand sanitizer stations. Um, my staff and volunteers will be wearing PPE where it's required. And um, we will have um, increased and deeper cleaning on pretty much everything at the event from toilets through to showers, through to triathlon racking to handrails and so on. Um, so those are the five guiding principles. And uh, hopefully if everybody um, does what they are being asked to do over the course of the weekend, we shouldn't have any problems in terms of transmission. Um, okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you now and we're gonna talk a little bit about the swim. So um, you guys are doing a 750 meter swim and you're gonna be swimming from the loggia down here out to the 375 meter buoy and then back again, simple as that. Um, you'll have hopefully watched the other video by now and you'll know that um, this is your holding area. You'll be called in uh, groups of 15 up onto the loggia where you'll see me. I'll brief you on what you can see down the lake. I'll also remind you what you're doing in terms of your run, in terms of numbers of laps and uh, uh, which signage that you're following. And then you'll move over to this side of the loggia and one by one, the starter will let you into the water every 10 seconds or so. You then swim down the length of the lake. Um, before you do that, let me just remind you that the, um, your race will start as soon as you walk over the timing mat that's at the top of the steps on this side um, of the event, of the, of the loggia. Um, and then you have to enter the water by walking down the steps that, which are super slippy. So please take it easy and you're not allowed to dive in because this is not very deep. 
You'll then swim down the length of the lake, keeping all the boys on your right shoulder. So you'll pass one at 100, keep that on your right shoulder, another one at 200, another one at 300. When you get to the 375, turn around that, keeping it on your right shoulder, and then look up and you will see an orange archway, which is directly behind the boat ramp, um, which you will use to exit the water. When you exit the water, normally we'd have somebody there pulling you out, um, but this year he won't be there. Um, so instead we are putting a couple of handrails in either side of the boat ramp, which you can use to pull yourself up and out of the water. Once you're out of the water, turn immediately left and follow the blue carpet along this gravelly track, which will then take you via the grass back up into transition. And I'll talk to you about transition in a second. In terms of safety, we'll have the same number of canoes and power boats that we would do on any other year. Um, the only difference this time will be that the guys on board the power boats will have PPE on because they're the ones who may end up in close proximity to you if you have to get rescued from the water. Um, other than that, um, enjoy your swim. If you do uh, come and come into um, any trouble or you, you feel slightly panicked, then please roll over onto your back and put your arm up in the air and one of the canoeists will come across and make sure that you are okay. Right, so going up into transition, get the right map up. Uh, so you'll come up the hill and you enter transition through swim in here and then you're going to run and down this side of transition into this corner here and then you will have a specific area within transition um, where you'll have left your running kit um, and so there'll be a letter on the end of each of these lines of racking. Um, find your letter and then work your way along until you get to the point where you've left all your running kit. There, uh, you will leave your um, wetsuits and um, any other swimming stuff, get your running kit on, um, and then move in that direction so that we've got a one-way system through the lines of racking. When you get to the end, turn immediately left, and then into this corner of transition, turn immediately left, and then run out is in the same corner as bike out over here, bottom right-hand corner of transition as we look at it. You'll then run in this direction and head off on your 4.2 kilometer circuit of the estate. And I'll show you what that looks like on this map. So you will leave transition in this corner here. You'll then run in this direction and you're gonna be following the green route on this map, but on the ground, you'll have green or yellow signs that say run route. And you'll follow them around the course in this direction uh, you'll get to this point here and turn left up a lane, which is called Shite Lane. It'll take you to the top of Park Wood on a gravelly track, and then you'll turn left and be crossed over onto the grass. You'll handrail Park Wood until you get into the corner of the wood over here, and then at, that's at about one kilometre. And then you'll descend down to the lake um, at this point here, and then turn right. Um, go down the end of the lake, past the um, weir gates and the splashes, and then you'll come to a water station in this corner. Water station is laid out with cups of water, cups of high five, cups of flat Coca-Cola, and also energy gels. Um, from there, um, you've done about 2.2 kilometers by the time you get over here, 2K to go, um, and you have got um, a long straight run down uh, the Anne Boleyn Walk, which will take you over a bridge here, then over an island called 16 Acre Island, around past the water maze, over a second bridge and then you're into the formal gardens of Hever Castle. You'll run around the back of the Tudor village, um, hand railing the river as you go. You'll turn left at that point there, past the moat restaurant. When you look over your left shoulder here, you'll see the castle in all its glory to your left hand side. Then you'll climb up a steep gravelly little hill that will take you up onto a grassy track. And then from there, you've got 300 meters to go before you get to your finish um, and the finish is just past the ticket huts you'll see a right hand turn here that says clearly finish on it with an arrow and you'll turn right and come into the finish straight and the finish area which is just off to the left of transition uh, you've got kilometer markers the whole way around and there are gangs of marshals out there to, uh, to show you which direction to run in if you've got any further questions about any aspect of your route then please email us on admin at castle triathlon series.co.uk or um, nearer to the event itself on Thursday the 24th of September at 7 in the evening we're going to have a webinar more details to follow about how you uh, tune into that um, and you can ask any questions that you may have um, there and then. 
Otherwise, please stay safe and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday, the 26th of September. Thank you for listening.